study where we're looking at a newer herbicide, True, which is a granular product that's a combination of, of isoxabin, the active in gallery, and dithiopyr, which is the active ingredient in Dimension. Uh, these treatments were put out at the one leaf stage of uh, crabgrass, so this is a very early uh, post-emergence application. Uh, first plot we're looking at is the uh, untreated, non-treated control, and you can see uh, an excellent stand of, of crabgrass uh, in this stand of Bermuda grass. The next plot is uh, dimension at a half a pound active per acre, one quart per acre. You can see uh, pretty good crabgrass control, a little bit of a uh, breakthrough in places in this plot. The next plot is a combination spray of dimension at a half pound of per ac uh, active ingredient plus um, gallery at a pound active ingredient and again uh, overall good control a little bit of breakthrough these treatments were put out in, in april here we are at the end of august so uh, we would expect to see a lot of these treatments some breakdown of control the uh, next plot is crew the granular product at 150 pounds per acre and again uh, relatively good control we have uh, a little bit more breakdown here in this treatment relative to the sprays of, uh, of dimension. And this plot is the 200 pound weight of crew. Again, that's putting out, in essence, a half pound of dithyl here and a pound of gallery. And you can see overall, uh, very good crabgrass control when it was applied uh, at that early post-emergent stage. And this last treatment is gallery at one pound active per acre in a sprayable form. Uh, you can see no control of crabgrass, uh, very comparable to the untreated in terms of the amount of crabgrass uh, in this study.